everybody. It's been a while, I know. John Henderson, Pierre the Beverage Ramble, back in here with you. Today we're looking at Yingling's Hershey's Chocolate Porter. This is a collaboration of two of the world's two, I guess you say, historic companies here in States. Um, maybe globally, or I won't say England, possibly, but maybe here in the States. One globally, the other not so globally. Um, but it's getting there. Uh, of course, we want uh, the world's, uh, America's oldest brewery, Yingling, DG Yingling and Son, with uh, the world renowned, infamous chocolate company, Hershey's. And, and what, what actually the combination is Yingling's Porter, which we don't get, um, and a combination of adding Hershey's chocolate to the Porter. So, uh, this is my first time having this. Um, I'm, there's been a lot of talk, Facebook posts, different things that I've seen, and I think there might be one or two videos, I'm not sure, on YouTube, but I'm doing the video now, so, hey for me. 4.7% uh, ABV. Um, as I said, interestingly enough, both companies are based in Pennsylvania, of course. Uh, DG and Ling Sun, World Headquarters, Pottsville, Pennsylvania. And, of course, they have another brewery in Tampa, Florida. And, of course, Hershey's, uh, Milton Hershey, the founder of the company, Hershey's Chocolate, and different this, different that, that, and this. And, of course, the theme park, Hershey's, Hershey's Park, Hershey, Pennsylvania. So, there you go. Here's what the beer looks like. Kind of a little dark, as you can see. Um, so in a way, this is the first not only drinking this, but also first time having the Yingling Porter. Uh, we don't get the Yingling Porter in my market. Um, I can get it back home if I go visit my folks in New Jersey. But the Porter is very hard to come by in this part of the area I'm in. The southeast so all we get is again as I mentioned the we get is the um, traditional Yingling light and the black and tan which is a combination of the premium beer and kind of combination of their combination of the premium Yingling premium beer and their porter so which makes the black and tan so Immediately, you get that scent of the Hershey's chocolate. Mm. Smells good, too. Um, I I know with stouts, you can probably see that, but I sat this out just a little bit on the counter for just a mere five minutes, just to kind of give it a little. It's been refrigerated for a couple of days. Uh, I bought this uh, Saturday at Rouse's. Uh, Paid more than what I needed to for this beer. Two forty nine, two dollars and forty nine cents plus tax. They've been going up on prices there, so I'm kind of weird about buying beers from there, or I don't know if I will be buying beers from there, singles and things like that. But but I wasn't sure, so I decided since I was there at Rouse's, might as well get it, and I did. Um, I didn't want to be driving around town like a madman buying, trying to find singles of this, and you know, yada yada yada. This is what happened. So, so two forty nine for the bottle. Uh, right now they have it in six packs right now, and I think they're going for a nine ninety eight. The average price between nine to ten dollars is is about the average price. Depends supermarket in my region go to either $8.99 or $9.99 so here we go
immediately a, a, a maltiness is there. Nice firm texture. A bit overly sweet, I would say, but most porters tend to have that a good amount of sweetness that you need. Maybe caramel, maybe a little bit of a chocolate, not overly chocolate. Like a bit of a cinnamon sugar type sweetness, but but it does have that maltiness to it. So this does at 4.7%. So definitely you get the immediate flavors that you know when you bite into her uh, Hershey's milk chocolate, you know, candy bar or one of their holiday, you know, the kisses, you know, I think which is very popular during the holidays. Um, you immediately know that this is this is a Hershey candy, <laughs> you know, this is Hershey's. You got that, that, that sort of chocolate, I'm saying that, that, that immediate, you know, you know that you're eating it, that you know that, oh yeah, this is Hershey's. Just that flavor right away, or that scent immediately. So, I wonder if they might have used dark chocolate in this one, but. a dark chocolate on this one. Milk, maybe a little sample, sample of dark, but a nice Hershey's chocolate milk is also popular. Uh, but a nice, subtle sweetness that is really, really I would say so. It's a bit maybe a tad sweet, but I think we can bypass that, folks, if those are not too familiar. But this is good. Um, as I mentioned in the story about this, um, of course, Yingling recently got into an agreement with Molson Coors. Of course, a lot of people kind of concerned. Those who like the beer, and I do love Yingling. Um, I've I haven't been overly critical about them. I'll, I know they've kind of done it, you know, sort of the pace in terms of how, you know, a family-run company runs. I've, I've worked for several family-run companies over the years. You know, hey, we're not going to boom, bum rush. We're going to take our time, work our way in, um, in terms of distribution. Um, they're in 23, excuse me, 22 states, maybe 22 states, adding also the District of Columbia. DC um, recently got into an agreement early this year with uh, Molson Coors to now distribute their beers uh, further out west. Or west could be that way or this way. It's not there, but anyway, or that way. That way. Uh, but anyway. But, um, so they got an agreement, many, you know, said, oh, uh oh what does this mean? Are they going to be for sale? I say no, but then again, the pessimist in me says, yeah, most of said, guys, guess what? I think I'm going to leave it your problems. Here's the check. What do you say? Let's make a deal, right? I'm sure there will be a ballpark figure that will come out, but... Not right now, but as they say, to be continued. Or stay tuned. Stay tuned. Um, the way it pours. I like how the way it pours, man. It's really nice. So, uh, um, again, uh, don't we don't get the porter, shamefully. And hopefully, 
with the success of this, and I think this is going to be successful, and as we get into, you know, we're in the middle of October now, as we get further down the rest of the year into the winter months, uh, the fall, deeper into late fall, and then going into winter, I'm sure, you know, this is going to be popular, but also I'm sure now you will probably say, you know what, let's, and I should say for those who get the only beers, those 23, 22 states, including District of Columbia, for those of those states that Yingling is distributed, um, hopefully they'll get to sample some of the other beers, as I mentioned. You know, the premium beer, uh, the premium light, uh, Lord Chesterfield Ale, um, of course their porter. Again, nothing wrong with traditional. I, I, I love traditional. I love the black and tan. I love the light. And, of course, they got their um, seasonal offerings, uh, the summer wheat and their Oktoberfest. But let's get some of their other stuff out here. Maybe with the success of this, that will, yeah, well, that will happen. Um, so... Yeah, I think this is good. So I'm not going to go over my time, folks. I'm getting a little over here. So um, it's an A minus. The sweetness is a bit much, but overall, this is a good porter. A minus, 9.0, 9.1 score for the Yinglings Hershey Chocolate Porter. Giant and Superior, the Beverage Ramble Team. Twelve watch, as always. Cheers. Live, laugh, and love. Chocolate Porter. Porter, 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 porter. Yeah.